even though it's very late. <laughs> well, we'll we'll get started because we're also five minutes late. So welcome um, to everyone that's come on today. The object of this of this is to be able to ex just explain a little bit of the difference between corporate and networking, or why networking is a better option. So networking, you're not restricted to times, you're not restricted to any place in the world, you can do it, be, be part of this business anywhere, anytime, and whatever age, and there's nothing holding anyone back from starting a network. Uh, but retail, is, as in corporate retail, Sometimes I look at people that are 70 and go, mm, I don't know if I want you in the shop selling jeans to the 15 year olds. <laughs> so there is an issue with corporate and, and, and people are getting older. But in networking, we've got people in this business that are 90 plus years of age. And they also can start at the age of, well, technically 18, but you can sort of sneak it in around 17 if you're, <laughs> if you're clever and get someone else to use, use, your, use your older brother's account. <laughs> Why would they want to do that? The, uh, well, the older brother might not want to do it. The younger brother does want to do it. So they can sort of sneak in. But anyway, that's another issue. <laughs> um, the other thing is the freedom. Well, we've just come back from Symposium. And I know Rianne was at some Symposium. And uh, were you there, Victoria? Yeah, I was there. Okay. I didn't see you, but you would have been in the crowd there somewhere. I was there. <laughs> uh -huh, good one. So... We were able to go to symposium because that was that was actually the Diamond Club as well and was in the middle of it. So we were also able to go to Darwin. Didn't have to worry about going back to work like most other people uh, on Monday. So we headed off, I don't know, was it? Yeah, we headed off to Darwin. And so we're very blessed that we can do what we want to do when, when we want to do it. Yeah, yeah. So you need to be able to take advantage of this sort of a, of a business. Because you can work with people in Mexico, you can work with people in Jakarta, USA, Singapore, and even Australia, <laughs> just next door. Mother, mm -hmm. brother, father, cousin, aunties. You know, when I started, I had a, um, a teaching. I was a teacher. And I remember to try and get ahead. I did school. And then I also bought myself um, a franchise so that I could do tutoring afterwards. But I was actually limited to a certain area when I had that. And I couldn't actually go outside my zone. And what I like about networking is that there's absolutely no restrictions of where I can have my business. So I don't actually have four walls or a zone that I can um, do my, I guess, my business building, which is really exciting. The other thing that I really liked about it is when I was teaching, I, there was, well, I had job security, probably in teaching was a little bit better than other positions in that I knew for a year at least I had a job. But in today, well, not in today's life, but today most people don't actually know whether they're going to have a job from um, six months away from now because everything is so volatile and people are, being moved on because they're trying to cut down on staffing. Um, and my, our son-in-law, he only actually just got a job working at the Olympic Park. And he came home the other day and said the same thing. He said, I really don't know whether my job is secure after six months from now, which is a pretty normal thing for people. Well, we don't have to worry about any of that. No, not at all. Freedom, total freedom. Mm. The other thing is, um, did we cover job security? Did I just say that? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> that is late. The other thing is, come, come Monday morning, what are you people doing Monday morning? I know that we've posted a few things on Monday morning sometimes, and I remember one post we did, we were in the hot pools in, um, in Lightning Ridge. We love Mondays. We love We hate public Mondays. holidays. Yeah, because everyone's in the hot pools. Because they're all got days off. And, and there's also lots of traffic going north or south. So, yeah, we love Mondays. Most people don't really like Mondays. But I don't know anyone that's in networking that doesn't like Mondays. You know, actually, statistically, what they found out is that 
Um, most heart attacks happen, yes, you guessed it, on Monday mornings. I wonder why. Probably most people just don't want to go to work because they've had the trauma of the week before, either working with someone that they don't like to work with or they've been asking to take some time off and they're not given the time off. They Basically, their lives are controlled, but most people don't enjoy what they're doing. For those people that do enjoy what they're doing, networking is still another avenue that you can look at because consider it as a little super fun that's actually just drip, 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 drip fitting. No, not dripping. Funneling. It's a super fun where you can funnel some income stream that can actually help you at the other end. Because what's the statistics? Most people when they retire, how, what percentage of people when they retire actually retire broke? Most. Do you know? Can't remember. You well, remember? well, last statistic I saw was 95% of people <laughs> who, by the time they get to retirement age, are actually broke. So the only funding they have is whatever Centrelink's going to give them for the pension. Now, I don't know about you guys, but one, I don't want to rely on that. But two, I think that possibly from the way things are going, we may not have pensions and definitely our kids probably won't have pensions. And most, most of the people that we speak to are on, on doing the 40-year plan, 40 years work and I then was on that. retire. I was on that too. Went, I remember my mum and dad saying to me, study hard. So you can go to university and get yourself a degree. And get a hex bill. And they never told me about that. They'd get a good job that's going to give you money. And I went into teaching. But what I found out afterwards is I had to spend ages just paying off my bill Did you before going to study. Yeah. Or did it just disappear? No, you have pay to off? pay it off. Oh. As every time, as soon as you get a job, you've got to start paying it off. So a percentage of that all went on to paying my thirty or $40,000 debt Unfortunately, it's a small amount. They take it out slowly, but nevertheless, it's a debt you have to pay. And what about when I did flying? I spent flying. I spent dollars to be able to learn how to fly to become mm. a commercial pilot, and no one paid for that either. I just had to keep working and paying for it. Mm. So yeah, we were certainly on the forty-year plan, and I guess most of the people that you speak to will be also on the forty-year plan. And the forty-year plan does not pay by the end of this. That's crazy that some people feel that two to five years in business is a long time to get rich. But don't feel that 40 years at a job is a long time to stay broke. So, interesting, <laughs> because you know in network marketing, you can have a four to five year career and if you, if you intentionally work it, then you're gonna get the results for that. Now for us, we're actually diamonds in Young Living, and it took us, how long did it take us to get to Diamonds? 3.8 years. So just under four years. Under four years, we got to Diamond Ranking. And I think most people, when they, they get into networking, um, they, they, they look at it as a get-rich-quick scheme. It's not a get-rich-quick scheme. But let me tell you that within four years, you can be earning a substantial income if you intentionally focus on what you're doing yeah money through network marketing is is huge but you know most people don't know this but if i was to say the music industry or the or the movie industry or the um um football like being a professional sports athlete industry and i said to you well you know do you think that they are good ways to get money because i know a lot of kids at school they were harrowing to try and be a football player because they thought they were going to earn a lot of money they actually it's only about nine and a half billion <laughs> only, dollars that's all they get it <laughs> yeah you've got to split it amongst all those thousands collectively Nine and a half billion dollars is actually allocated to sports people. It's still a lot though, because how much money do these guys make? Some, some of them are on, on one and two million dollars a game, mm. some of these big players. So if you could get into that field, you're probably doing mm. okay. If you get into the movie industry, there's not, what is it, 80, 88 billion? Is it 88? 88 well, about, billion dollars so in the, the music, movie industry. What about the music industry? That's not as high up no, as know. the only, movies. But, but, but music's huge and that's only $15 billion. Mm. That's got to be spread amongst all of the singers around the world, $15 billion. 
That's that's still a lot of, that's a lot that's of a money. lot of money, isn't it? But still, but I don't think I have the skills to, to be a musician, and that would, that would rule me out. And I don't even and have. I, I wouldn't be. I couldn't be a John Travolta. I don't think I could go Saturday night. Fever. <laughs> so, I know Steve could probably Steve do that pretty good. <laughs> I think you know if you look at people, the young kids that are getting into video games and developing video games, everybody's playing them and into them. You know, the video game industry is 76 billion, but it doesn't compare to the whole foods or natural food industry. So for those people who are producing products that are organic, that are um, natural, that people are all going towards. Vitamins. Vitamins, minerals, minerals and so forth. $90 billion, more than the movie industry, is actually allocated for that type of industry. It just shows you how... Now, health is one of the biggest growing industries in the world. Uh-huh. But there's another bigger one, isn't there? Yeah. What's the bigger one, Linda? The bigger one is <laughs> you get it, network, <laughs> network marketing. marketing. Network marketing pays out $178 billion a year, which means there is a potential of you to be able to get a small snippet of that as well. Well, I don't know if it's so small because no, no, no. You, you do the sums on that. It's a that's a lot to you're dividing this stuff like crazy and you're getting huge amounts. So what I'm gonna get Alan to do now oh, is okay. just to bring up a Last night's an dinner. income dis <laughs> not quite <laughs> but an income dis uh -oh. disclosure document. Where is that thing? Uh, Hang on, I'm just gonna bring it up for you. Show screen share. There it is. Oh. Yeah, screen share. Is that and it there? that's it there. Yes. Tell us if you can see that. Should be able to see that. And have a look here. A executive. There's an average executive. Can you guys see that on the screen? Give us a thumbs up or something if you can see it. Well, you can't it. thumbs up because we've got oh. no videos on. Okay. Can Just you... one person say that, that you can see that. That's all we know. Oh, Rhiannon can see got oh, a hand Rhiannon's up. Oh, Rhiannon's got a hand up. Woo! Good on you. Thanks. Okay. So you'll have a look at that. And this is what I love about these businesses is if you look on that screen and you go, you know what? I need $2,000 extra per month to be able to, to survive or 2000 to 2000 bucks every month in order to start building my super fund. So if you look down at the average income... And you'll see just here where I've got my little, you know, whatever is zooming tool. Tool in. Magnifying glass. And on the average, two thousand dollars would mean that I would have to get myself to silver rank. So the beauty about this business, and I know when I did my franchise, it cost me about forty thousand dollars to get it, and I ran the risk of being able to lose that if I couldn't get enough kids to pay off my debt. In this business, there's absolutely no risk and every single advantage because every single person that has been in it before you becomes your mentor and that mentor can actually help you achieve because if they've done it, then they know what they've done to get to their level. So all you need to do is be guided by them. So if I was to say, you know what, an extra 2000 bucks, I'm going to go for that target because that's going to actually um, start building my super fund from now. I need to get to silver. All I need to do is go up to the person who actually referred me and say, okay, this is where I need to go. Show me how to do it. And if they say to you, I really don't know, on your virtual office, there is a section there in our business model where we can actually look upstream to see the other successful rankers in our business. And so I can then contact them and say, okay, show me what to do. So it's pretty cool in that you don't have the risk of a franchise, but you get all the systems of what a franchise would do. With our industry, we basically um, buy our products and then if I come across somebody who would benefit by using them too, then I refer them to the company. So I don't have to sell anything to anybody because I'm not actually very good at selling. I'm a teacher. So I can't go door knocking and say, hey, want to buy this vacuum cleaner? Want to buy this Chevy? Want to buy... I can't do that. 
But what I do have the ability of is if it's something that I love and I'm passionate about using, I can actually pass that on to other people. And if they choose to do it, this is how easy this business is. All I need to do is purchase my products from the company and refer three other people who want to do exactly the same. How easy is that? I don't have to sell anything to them, which is pretty good for me. And pretty good for me too because it makes it really easy. You also, you're, you're, you have a super fund. Um, that's uh, something you could be working towards. If you have got, you know, a lot of people have got, some people do have good incomes. <clears throat> but the super funds are not that doing that well. So to be able to put money into a super fund and having a, a tax deductible, oh, that's the other thing. Every time we go somewhere in a network, um, in our network business, we can have all of our food tax deductible as long as we're 80 kilometres from home. Mm. That's another good one. So, so we get a lot more tax breaks than when we were going to work. Mind you, when I had my own business with the tutoring, I got tax breaks as well, but it cost me a lot more to actually get that business to have a tax break. Well, I don't have to worry about that now. So networking versus university. Hmm. You weigh those two up. Not knocking the university itself, but I'm certainly questioning the ability to earn an income after university. Because there is, at each university would have to have, sometimes you've got 500 to 1,000 people going to universities. Now, how many of those get jobs at the end? There are very few, but they all have a tax bill. So to start in this, in this type of a business, you can, you can start in as low as, well, really, really low, what, $70 if you really want to start low, and that gives you the ability to earn an income. Um, but most people get in on about two hundred and fifty dollars. But that's why would they do that, Alan? Because they can then start to uh, get paid themselves, and they've got themselves the product to show other people. And when they show other people that product, they they're able to get those other people connected. And once they get three people connected, that product they just bought all for free. Hmm. So why wouldn't you? So one of the really cool things about um, Which you don't get someone, that in university situations. No, helping someone else get started as well is that most people would like to get their products for free. So if you could show them how they can get their products for free, then it's pretty easy. And it's so simple to show someone to get their products for free. Basically, you just refer three people and you then teach them to do the same. Once that's done, then your products are free plus some extra in your pocket, and then it continues to grow. So the model is a really easy model. It doesn't involve you having to go selling, setting up a shop or a stand or whatever, as long as you know how to, um, how to refer people to do what you want to do or to do what they want to do. Hmm. Refer people to do what you're doing, and this business can grow for you. Which is me plus three teaching three. So it's myself by purchasing, say, $160 worth of product for my own house. I'm not selling it to anyone because it's my product. And then I teach one person to buy the same, not the same uh, products that I've bought, but pick out of the 500 of products that they have and purchase it. Then I teach another person to do the same, another person to do the same. So I've got three there doing it. So it's me plus three. Now, that actually, if you teach that duplication, takes you to silver rank. And, and yeah, which is that two thousand dollars. So it's me plus three, rank. and then those three you pass on to those three people to teach them to do exactly what you just did, which was get three people. And nobody's selling anything. Nobody's having to become a salesperson. I've never sold. I probably might have, but really, we don't ever sell an essential oil yeah. to anyone. Usually, you know, I'm giving it away more than we'd sell it. But we don't, you just, if, you, if you're wanting to sell an oil as a retailer, you're going to become a retailer. And if you drive through most of the shops in, in different cities and even country areas, you'll find what happens to retailers. Shops are empty. The shops are empty. We've they're been around empty. a lot of towns yeah. in, 
in Australia at the moment on the East Coast and the amount of closed shops that you see is... Sorry, closed shops, as not in, closed shops. No, closed, <laughs> closed shops, as in shops that have gone out of business. Yeah, they're, 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 they're everywhere. Some towns they're retailers. are lucky to have three, three stores still running yeah. in their town. Yeah, so, is, so don't become a retailer. Become a train a teacher to get someone else to do what you've just done. So if you come out of a good movie, you've seen a good movie, what are you going to do? You're going to tell someone else you've, got to, that you've seen a good movie. Guess what? They're going to go to that movie. That's exactly the same thing. You've just referred somebody to a good thing. So with that, we'll open it up to some questions because for us, as you can see, um, the model has worked and it can work for you too because you actually have our support. We've done it. We know what we've done. We can help you with it. The person who referred you can help you with it, the process as well so that you can actually start developing whatever it is that you want extra coming into your life. I shouldn't say want but desire um, into your life. And it's as simple as going back to them and just simply saying, okay, I'm in, show me what I need to do and get cracking. And once you intentionally set a target of what you want to do, it's surprising how quickly you can get it. So for us, four years or just under four years got us to the, the volume that we wanted to keep us doing what we want to do. So you can actually look down that income disclosure document and decide what it is you want to. So we're going to open it up to, um, to questions. So if you have a question, you if you want to unmute yourself now and just ask it, we'll wait for you to do that. Oops, people are writing responses. Oh, there's there it is. The type pants. What? What was that? Where were you? Target Thank you. Action, the type yes. pants. Oh, <laughs> that was because of my, my Saturday night fever. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so is there anybody there that has a question that they'd like to ask that maybe that they want a little bit more clarity on something plan. that we've said? Action revise, action revise. Yes, correct. So speak now if I ever hold your pieces. <laughs> pieces? Pieces. Um, actually, I'm going to write down here some research that you guys can be doing. Um, people that you, is good to, to okay, listen to. Okay, Rhiannon has her hand up, so we just open this up Hi, first. Open. Hello. Oh, yay, Rhiannon. Hi, Rhiannon. <laughs> you can hear me okay? Yep. Yeah, we can. Hi, nice to see you guys. Um, yeah, I have a question. Um, uh, it's just, I love sharing the oils and, uh, and the products and I, I do it all the time. I'm always telling people about it and what works for me. And, um, but I really hold back from taking it much further. Like, <laughs> it's just one of the things my things you know and um it, of the point of okay they they tell me they love them and they want to know more and and so you know i support them with whatever information um and and just let them be and then and then i just can't seem to get across the line of of um okay do i refer them to the website and they can sign up or do i meet them and and get them to fill out the form i i have this thing that i hold back from taking them to that next step I guess I haven't done it for so long. That's probably why it's been a few years. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you know, remember when we said, the, I'm, from what I'm hearing from the question, it's mm. like I don't know how to get them to start buying their own products. Yeah. And I don't know yeah. how to actually yeah. say that to get them to that next level. Remember yeah. the model that I told you just a little while ago? You uh -huh. are only looking for three people that are prepared to get their products. So when you share with them, I don't know about you, but I have experienced that people who are looking for truth, they recognise it when they hear it. And you mm -hmm. might want to consider yourself. You know, you, when you heard about these products, you mm -hmm. had an aha moment that said, okay, mm -hmm. I want to try incorporating them into my life for whatever reason that was. And every single person you come across won't have that. You're just simply looking for the three people to start with that do. Once yeah. you find them, then you teach them to do the same thing. So if you're mm. struggling with actually saying to someone, hey, why don't you start getting your own products? You probably haven't been 
looking for the right people because the right people will say, I want to get these products into my home. And so yeah. then it's just the process of you saying, well, let's get you onto the computer and let's set up an account for you so you can get them into your home so you can start using them as well. But yeah. if you are looking for product users, if well, we all want to look for product users, right? But if you are looking for them in preference for people who are proactively wanting to build an income stream, then it mm -hmm. will be harder for you to do that. But when I come across people who say, you know what, really struggling to pay these bills, my response to them is, I've got a way of something that I'm doing, do you want to know what it is? And then yeah. I will tell them the potential. I will show them the income disclosure document and show them the simplicity of doing this, which is buy your own products, find three people that are prepared to buy this How as do they well. find the income statement disclosure? Um, well, it's online. Just Google Young Living Income, income disclosure. disclosure Statement. Okay. 16 or 17, I don't even need to write a date. Well, I think Just Alina, actually, if you, if you came on this link, you were probably either sent the link by someone or you went on to our Star Express Leaders page and you found the link there. Just like you found the link on the Star Express Leaders page, there's actually um, a section on there which is an information section and when you click it, Alina has actually posted that there as well, amongst a few other things. But going back to your question, Rihanna, is you need to be looking for those people that want to get it and it's as simple as saying, let's get them into your home. Most people give things away because... You know, Young Living is a company. Oops, I wasn't going to mention our company, but since we're all Young Living people here at the moment. <laughs> Busted. Um, yeah. It's a company that's really passionate about the products and making a difference in people's lives. So when we don't actually offer them the opportunity to purchase, then we're stopping making a difference in their lives. Because if you were to think back, Rhiannon, how different mm. would your life be if you didn't have the Young Living products in them. In your, in your life. Oh, I couldn't imagine. No, yeah. couldn't imagine any other way. I'm, I'm so glad. And that's a, a good point, Linda, because that's, yeah. that's the uh, feeling kind of saved and, the, and then the joy and, the, and the, uh, you know, there's something really amazing and important in my life that uh, keeps me going on in, in so many ways. So just sharing that is, is enough. That's um, it. That's to, all you yeah. need to share. Yeah. And then you just say, you know what? Let's get them into your home so you can be feeling what I'm feeling and learning and using these products the way I have. It's simple to close that way with someone and, and give them the opportunity. But half of the time we don't give them the opportunity because we're thinking whatever we're thinking in our brains about it. But if you're passionate about why you're using them and the difference it's made to you and you share that with other people, those people who are looking for that truth, they will understand it. And then it's a matter of you just saying, Let's get them into your home. It's really simple. Yeah. Done. Does that make yeah. sense? You, oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. You've got to practice just talking to strangers, basically. Hop in a lift and make a yeah. conversation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Put yourself out there. That's yeah, right. Cause if, cause no, yeah, because the, the worst thing that happen, they're not going to pull a gun out and shoot you. They're just going to not talk to you. So yeah. You'll still be alive after that experience. <laughs> yeah. So just uh, yeah. But there are people out there who want to use them. You need to find those people. And if they want to develop an income stream from it, it's really easy just to get the products for free. Just refer three people that are prepared to buy and then yep. teach them to do the same. And your products are for free and then it keeps growing. And the reason mm. why we did the model of three is because in, in order to get silver, because most people could do it, an extra two thousand dollars in their bank accounts for mm -hmm. most people to get to silver that's all it takes three people mm -hmm. and teaching them to do the same and once that's duplicated three to four levels down mm -hmm. you will automatically be getting your products for free plus mm -hmm. some mm -hmm. so the model of three works and then if you want to go to the diamond ranks like we're at which i would recommend for you to do because just in our company, just for having diamond rank gives us about $24,000 a year. Mm -hmm. $24,000 a year just for 
being ranked as a diamond. So okay. it's well worth going up to those upper levels, but you don't have to go there. You might say, hey, you know what? That amount is, is sufficient for me. And if silver is sufficient for you, that's all you need to do. Three people, teach them to do the same. And they will then do what you just did because they're after the same thing. So your business is going to grow. Yeah. That's any, awesome. any other questions? That's the model, if you can see it. Can you see that on the board? Yep. Yep, you yeah. can see that. Um, Linda, oh, hang on. What is it you're seeing? I just realised that you said $24,000 a year instead of $24,000 a month. No. No, that's just the bonus. So $24,000. Diamond is more than ah. that, right? But just because being a diamond, just a bonus for being diamond is a $24,000 income in a year. That's some people's total income for the year and that's just one of our bonuses. Mm -hmm. So you're looking at about ah, okay. $2,000 a month just for being ranked diamond as one aspect of payment. So as you can see, they're diamond on average what, what that's showing up before. But that's just one aspect that I was talking about. And there's eight different ways that in network... Sorry, that's something. ...that you get paid. Is there any other questions before we head off because our time is up? Nope. Okay. No? All right, well, thanks for coming on, guys. Girls, we're all the smart people are on tonight. Um, thanks for coming on. And if somebody referred you to come on to have a look at this webinar, then go back to them and team up with them and say, you know what, this is where I want to get. Show me how to do it. And as I said, the beauty with our company is that if, you, if that person says, you know what, I really don't know, what to do because they're not building it as a business, they're just loving the products. And get on your virtual office and go down to the section which is your profile and you will see all the upline people who have done it that can actually help you. So if the immediate person that introduced you doesn't know, keep going up because there'll be someone there. Now, we're going to be up there. We're happy to help. All you need to do is contact us and you'll actually have our details on your virtual office so you can ring us on the phone or email us or what have you. And we're happy to work with you to help you get your target. So if target. You target. <laughs> so if your target is silver, gold, platinum, whatever, then let's work together and do that so that you can achieve what you want. Because, And I love what Mary Young says that money in the hands, and I think Yvonne mentioned this before, that money in the hands of good people can actually do a lot of good. So think bigger. Don't limit yourself. But stretch yourself by intentionally doing some things and it's all there for the taking. $178 billion a year is paid out on network marketing businesses. So for most people like us who want to get ahead, it's a really simple option and a yeah. good option because you've got umpting support to achieve what you want to achieve. And there's your model on the board there. Down to five levels, 243 people, which is 24,300 PV, which means you're strong silver and you'll be earning probably two and a half to three thousand dollars a month. Mm. That's just me plus three teaching three. That's what that is. So that me plus three teaching three. Three people to do that. Nine and then list level 27, list level 81 and then 243. That's a serious, serious type of business building, and that could be done in a month if you just got people to, to be able to train and teach people to do the same thing. If so, they intentionally set a target. Yeah. And you know what? Even if you get 1% of that, it's a lot of income still coming in that supports your home. That's what we found. That's what we started off with too. <laughs> So thanks okay. for coming. If you if this is something that you think is going to really be financially a benefit to you, just start going upline to the people that actually referred you or and above, and say, "Come on, I'm in. Let's go." And do you know the reason why these videos are here? Well, because why we do these webinars is so that people bring on pe their people to know what networking is all about. Um, it's nice that you guys are already already oilers and already connected. 
next time, drag some of your great friends on here as well, because that way it helps. Instead of you saying it, someone else is saying it. And it's actually a big help when someone else says it. Because they hear your, if your friends hear you saying stuff all the time, if you just get them onto these videos, these webinars, they hear us talking about it. And we, we try not to mention the word young living. It's just a generic um, so that they don't feel like they've, you know, it's up to them which one they choose. But we just wanted to show them what networking is about. So thanks, everyone. See you later. Thanks for coming. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Love you guys. Bye. Thank you. Good night. 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 He shares the screen and then he forgets where he's looking for. Oh, there it is. It's, it's hidden behind it. <laughs> right. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye.